Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Sega Master System Game of Day video. Every day October 2020, a different Sega Master System game on my channel. Now today's game is a game I had as a kid on the Master System. And uh, yet this is Shadow of the Beast for the Sega Master System. This was also out on other formats, probably every single format out there. Uh, Commodore 64, Spectrum, Amiga, Atari, etc. So yeah, we're going to play on Shadow of the Beast. I have messed about a bit with my uh, encoder settings and uh, it should be better quality a little bit than it has been as of late on the uh, picture quality. Uh, I didn't realise I was running um, it in a, a bad uh, USB port. It seems to be improved a lot. But yeah, okay, so yeah, this is Shadow of the Beast recording, capturing on the real hardware using uh, OBS. So yeah, initial thoughts, yeah, the graphics are excellent, you've got multi-layered parallax scrolling on an 8-bit game, which is pretty cool, like the clouds are running at different speeds. And you can see like the uh, background runs slower than the uh, foreground, so yeah, this gives us a good sense of depth in the uh, graphics. Watch out for these claw-type things coming out the ground. Now the game's got a sort of atmosphere to it. That says home on it, but we can't seem to go in. So yeah, we progress on. So I'm not sure what the objective of the game is, to be honest. I never did find out. Even back in the day, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't even bother looking at the instruction manual. Okay, so that comes to a dead end. You can't progress any further down that way. So let's try the other way. Oh yeah, the graphics are good. The music, music gives it a sense of atmosphere. They, they, they made a good use of the uh, same chip on the Master System. It sounds really good. Now you'll see at the top left you've got three hearts which represent your lives and the heart beating heart on the right which represents your energy I think. And every time you hit a baddie or uh, something that hurts you it will... Oh you fucks are only to a bag of bones right here. So yeah okay I'm going to try going this way this time. So we've got our nine health back and our two lives now. Can you go down the wishing well? Hmm. Oh, I found a key. Nothing happens. Have oh, I got that key? No, I haven't. Hey. I think I just threw the key down the white well. Oops. Oh, shit! Look out for these green men here. So the baddies keep coming at you. you got to get your timing right with your punches or they'll just kill you. It's quite difficult, to be honest. Watch out for the spiders right here. Now, you have to use up to jump on this game, which is quite difficult on the D-pad. Okay, grab the, uh, whatever that is. Is that a coin? Okay, ooh, potion as well. So these mul- Ah, that replenishes your health. So these multiple potions on the game, and multiple items. Oh, you fuck, watch out for these uh, dragons right here. Whoa! Watch out for this uh, thing coming out the ground right here. There's another one as well. So they've used some excellent use of the uh, sprites on the Master System. Looks really good. Looks really uh, technically superb for a Master System game. Showing off what the system can do. I'm going to guess this game is probably a little bit later on in the Master System's life. I do apologise about the slight fuzziness of the picture. It does that after a bit for some reason. I'm not sure what's causing that. Hopefully you can still enjoy the video. It seems like as the power supply warms up, uh, it seems to start doing that. Tried checking the cables and it wasn't the cables, so... If anyone can let me know in the comments why sometimes when the Mega Drivers and the Master System, both of them, that if it once have been on for quite a while, it starts doing this fuzzy picture. Maybe it is the power supply wearing out. Maybe it's the uh, system itself, I don't know. But yeah, okay, so let's progress on. Oh, you fuck! Straight into a bag of bones. How do you start from the beginning? I do believe... Ah, oh, I'm by the wishing well again. Okay, so yeah, that's Shadow of the, of the Beast on the Sega Master System. Really shows off the uh, power of the system. And you've got good, good, good graphics with parallax scrolling, uh, good music. Very uh, atmospheric music, which make, gives it a bit of sense of atmosphere. I'm going to give that one... 9 out of 10. I do apologise for the fuzzy picture near the end. Thank you for watching. 